5-0 uh, last year. But before that, they were 4-4 four and four going into the bye week. And then in 2021, they started 3-5. and five. All three years, San Fran still made the NFC Championship game. Um, Kyle Shanahan is not banking on that, saying, I've seen teams start 0-4 and, and get there before. So there's lots of things that go into it. But I think every year is different. We got to write our own story, and it has nothing to do with the other years. Niners have a huge game, and this is probably the biggest Thursday night game of the season since the opener, right? Chiefs, Ravens, uh, Niners, Seahawks, Niners favored by three and a half. I, I don't know, Colin. I, I think the Niners are the side here, but a lot of underlying issues with San Francisco right now. Yeah, I think the Niners are the side as well. Um, Seahawks played so poorly against the Giants, but the Giants deserve credit because they dominated the line of scrimmage. So it's easy to say, well, the Seahawks played poorly. No, the Giants made the Seahawks played poorly. If you watch that game, the score is not reflective of what I saw. I saw Daniel Jones in an offense running a ball and dominating the trenches. So I think San Francisco wins. Uh, but they do have problems. And once again, if you take Christian McCaffrey, the magic in this offense, you can have everything else. Trent Williams, left tackle, Christian McCaffrey. If they don't play, they don't win. Even if they've got Kittle, Fred Warner, Debo, they don't win. Clearly. It's weird. I, I saw a stat. Um, Colin, they were number one in the red zone last year in scoring. They're, now they're 30th. Yes. That's all McCaffrey. That's staggering. Same team. It's all McCaffrey. It's like, I mean, the teams that are 31 and 32 are Miami and New England. Miami yep. with backup quarterbacks, New England is a joke. Um, but why are the Niners down there? Play calling suspect. However, we have odds to win the Super Bowl. This may surprise you. Currently, the Chiefs are obviously favored. Then it's the Ravens. Then it's... The 49ers? Well, this, this, I mean, after last night, is there any question that Kansas City is easily the best team in the league? We just I mean, they just, about the they literally were showing off on Monday Night Football. Um, Taylor Swift shows up. Voila, Travis Kelsey's great. They were doing trick plays and clever stuff all night. That was, you know what that was last night? That was KD, Steph, Clay, Draymond in their prime when you get that big standalone Sunday game and they would show off. And all of a sudden, Steph Curry's got a little more razzle to his dazzle. That's what Kansas City did last night. She's in town, Taylor Swift, Monday Night Football standalone game, and the Chiefs flexed for all of us. That being said, um, it's early. We're not even a third of the way through the season. Um, the Niners probably can turn it around, but... I, I don't I just don't, I don't know who the best team in the NFC is right now and I, honestly I keep coming back to your Washington Commanders <laughs> I'm not even joking after five games uh, all right next up Colin let's go to your favorite quarterback in the uh, NFC Caleb Williams had his best game mm, as a pro getting better every 20 game 20 for 29 for Ooh, 340 tight, yards and two tutties excuse, excuse me say that again what was that 20 of 29 for 304 what is the guy a magician it was against the Panthers, just for the record. Um, Whatever. Huh. So the number one overall pick says the Bears have to keep improving. Just building the confidence and, and trust between each other um, and trust in this offense uh, between everybody, offensive line, running backs, protection. We need to keep building, uh, keep going. Obviously, great win, but um, definitely not uh, settled on this. Here's the best part. So they go to London this weekend to face the Jags. Well, that game's in London. Yeah, so we just saw one coach lose in London and get fired. I don't want to say the loser here gets canned, but Peterson, obviously, we know, has really struggled with Jacksonville. Eberflus, I guess they've won a few games, so he's probably probably safe. By the way, Caleb Williams, when the season ended, spent some time, I'm told, over in Europe. Familiar territory. Oh, come on. The favorite and familiar territory. I like Chicago's one of my favorite bets this weekend. Really? I'm going to have to... Uh, I mean, I Jacksonville that, played with their food and almost lost that game. Here they're showing me it's minus two. I don't see it on the screen, but Bears by two, you let you. Huh? It's one of my favorite bets of the week. Who's the best quarterback in that game? Caleb Williams. Unequivocally, huh? Trevor I, Lawrence just had the best game of his career against the, <laughs> the Colts. If you could take one to run your franchise tomorrow, what would you do? Ooh. Caleb, by the way, is basically cheap for four years, and you have to consider that. 
There's no and, and by the way, Trevor Lawrence is expensive and has been beat up. Well, I need to talk to Trevor Lawrence. By the way, I, uh, we didn't get to get to it yesterday because there was so much happening. But Trevor Lawrence got in a little altercation with Gabe Davis. So Tr Trevor Lawrence finally showing some fire on the sideline as the team was reeling there. Gabe Davis had a bad turnover. But uh, if I see more out of Lawrence, I think I could still take him over Caleb. I mean, I, we like Caleb. But I'm not saying I don't like Trevor Lawrence. I think Caleb is a spectacular talent who for four years is inexpensive and I got no injury history. Yeah, that's uh, you got to consider that. They can't just be, I like the way he throws a ball. <laughs> what are you doing to my salary cap? Are yeah. you available on Sunday? I'll take Caleb. My final story is Devontae Adams remains a Raider despite all of the trade rumors. Head coach Antonio Pierce ignored questions last week about the situation, and he's not answering them now. Here he is at the podium. I don't know. I think I got to ask Devontae them. What, what is the latest on the pets? It's status quo. All right. Status he hasn't quo. Been traded. Uh, give me a sleeper. We thought that it was going to be the Ravens Friday with the whole Edgar Allan Poe thing. You got any sleepers out there for for Devontae? I, I I can't see how the Jets I go think for I, I just talked to somebody Sunday. He said because of his age and what he's going to cost, it's not a first round pick and it may not be a second. Mm. It could be a third. And then some, like third and a six or third and a later pick. Oof. So the Raiders spent at least a first round pick on him to get him from Green Bay. Might have been two. And now they're going to get a third. Ooh, that's not a good ROI, huh? Oh. Typical Raiders running a good business. Well, so. come on now. They have new people running the show. It's a new oh, day. Oh, that's right. Your buddy. Uh, <laughs> so let's, uh, apologies, Tom. He got Brock Bowers. First draft. Brock Bowers looking good. <laughs> hey, who's the quarterback there, by the way? What? Well, they got to find one. Okay. There's some garage sales this weekend. <laughs> See if they can find an old lamp. Wow. For, for a discount. Uh, J-Mac with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks for stopping by. The Herd Lie News. Listen to this. Jets coach Robert Sala was escorted out of the building by his team's director of security. His predecessor, Adam Gase, was not. So apparently, this is what I'm getting via text. Uh, it was Chris Johnson, Woody Johnson, sat in out in a room and told him he was gone. He was obviously not happy, and they had security escort him out. I mean, there's there's definitely some alpha. I mean, he's got he's got a lot of, you know, Salah's all guy, and and that's great. By the way, I think his his in, you know the interim guy, defensive guys usually you know lead with a little bit of that. Offensive guys tend to be kind of. You know, they're the clever guy. They're the smart guy in the building. The offensive guys, the, he's the guru. And then the defensive guys, you know, the, the Greg Williams guys, Jim Schwartz. There's a physical presence. I get it. Um, I, I do think Sala's undoing is the podium. And you think that's ridiculous. I've been saying this for years. The hat on backwards theory. There's two moments during the week at the podium the coach after the game and the quarterback on Wednesday, they're different than every other interview. When you do that quarterback thing on Wednesday and you have the $10 million bank sponsor behind you and the owners making sure, you know, century bank is getting love. You got to go in there and be a grown up. Don't start fires, put them out. I love Baker, but he was starting fires, not putting them out in Cleveland. And that's why I always say you get the hat on forward, be an adult. This is a big, big press conference. The one that counts. Nobody really judges players after games. These are warriors. They're playing. They get emotional, but a coach has to be very careful after games. Be careful. It's the messaging. Sala could be a little sloppy. That cadence comment ticked off Aaron Rodgers. My guess is Chris and Woody Johnson, who flew their Gulfstream all the way to Malibu to meet with Aaron Rodgers and beg him to be the quarterback, right? Aaron had some options. They begged him to be the quarterback. I, I can't believe they just sprung this on him. Hey, hey, Aaron, did you hear the news? What? Look, it's on television. Sala got fired. Nah, nah that's not the way it works. Not the way it works. Also, something to consider, is the Jets a good job? I want to throw this out there, uh, because when the Chargers were open, many of you said, oh, Spanos, Chargers. I'm like, left tackle, Abosa, Justin Herbert, great stadium revenue, live in Los Angeles for free agents. Chargers was the best opening. Okay, so you, I'm not saying it was the Niners, but that was a great opening. 
Chargers now spend money. They've got a new facility. The stadium's great. Pro athletes love Los Angeles. Left tackle, quarterback, both on the roster. Like, that's good. That's good. You need some new weapons. They get rid of Keenan, Mike Williams. You can draft those. They already got one kid from Georgia pretty good. Is the Jets a good job? Some thoughts on that next. Promises to be a month of tricks and treats. And, of course, touchdowns. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner, the partner of the NFL. Number one place to bet touchdowns. Bet on something simple. If you've never done it before, bet on a player scoring a touchdown. Here's a reason.